In this video, we're going over adductor longest exercises. My name is Dan Pope. I'm a cash-based physical therapist. I am a strength coach. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a meathead. I love all things fitness. On this channel, we go over how to make you a better coach and clinician. So the adductor longus is very important as a muscle in certain pathologies. The big ones being an adductor longus strain injury, the other one being athletic pubalgia. Sometimes you can get a tendinopathy right where the adductor longus attaches right on the pelvis. It's also implicate, implicated in femoral acetabular impingement syndrome. And I think one of the problems that you'll see is that physical therapists and coaches don't always have great knowledge of different adductor exercises, right? If you have a super irritated muscle and we can't throw a Copenhagen plank at it, however, sometimes the only exercises a physical therapist knows about for adductors are going to be Copenhagen planks, right? So what happens is the patient comes in, they get an exercise that's too hard for them, they get hurt more, they don't have any trust with the physical therapist. So in today's video, we're gonna go over a whole lot of different exercises, starting from easy exercises to the hardest exercise. So you can handle any patient, depending on how irritable they are, what they wanna get back to, all that good stuff, all right? Let's get rolling. First exercise I'd like to start with my patients is going to be a short lever adduction. You can use a band or you can use a cable for this. One of the reasons why this is nice is because I have the band a little higher on the leg. For a lot of the exercise we use for the adductor, you take a band or you take a cable and it goes all the way down by the foot. That's not a bad exercise, just more challenging. We can make things a little bit easier just by using a short lever like so, okay? You can do this exercise in a variety of different positions. One of the ones I like to start with is basically on your back. So you take the band, you put it around your knee just like this, feet are planted to the floor, and go ahead and perform a few reps for me. Good, in and out, just like this. Come out a little bit wider, yep, and then all the way back in again, yep. And generally this is really well tolerated and good starting place for most folks with adductor issues. We can also perform this exercise seated, which is a great variation as well. So all we're doing is sitting down, band or cable goes around the knee, puts plant into the ground, and go ahead and perform a few repetitions. Knee swings out wide and comes all the way back in again. All right, another great exercise to start with your adductor patients. Next exercise we can progress to is a longer lever band or cable adduction. So essentially, you're just taking your band, your cable, and attach it around your foot. I also like to have a PVC pipe or something to make sure you stabilize yourself, right? Because a lot of folks are going to be not getting the full use of adductor simply because they can't balance well, right? So use that PVC or dowel for balance and show me a few repetitions, good? And coming all the way across here. Excellent, yep, and that's it. The next exercise progression I love for adductors is going to be Copenhagen planks. The problem with Copenhagen planks are actually quite challenging. So you have someone that's pretty irritable and the Copenhagen plank, even if it's an easy variation, is the first thing you throw at them, oftentimes it's not tolerated well. All right, but once you have an athlete that gets to the point they're tolerating these movements well, then definitely use them, okay? The first variation we're gonna use is going to be a short lever Copenhagen with a bottom leg assist. So go ahead and leave that bottom leg down, Danielle. Good, and you can utilize this to assist you. If someone's having a hard time reaching up to the bench, you can elevate that bottom side knee with an Arix pad, and you can have the individual utilize as much or as little assistance as needed, all right? The second variation would be actually lifting up, good? And then from here, we can add some movement as the last final variation. So go ahead and perform a few repetitions for me. Good, hip drops all the way down, then come all the way back up again, phenomenal. As Danielle is doing this, I'll just point out a few things. We're looking for the body to be stacked up really well. So essentially the shoulders on top of the shoulder, hips are stacked on top of the hips, right? And the knee is right underneath the knee. That looks phenomenal, okay? Take a little breather there. As your athlete is now tolerating these three variations really well, all we have to do to make this more challenging is to extend further away from the bench, okay? So you don't have to go straight to only the foot on the bench. We can kind of go mid shin, right? Just a, a below the knee. We don't have to extend fully. So how about you show me a slightly harder variation of that short lever, and then I'll work our way out a little bit further. Very good. So as you can see, we still have majority of the lower leg still on the bench here, okay? And we can also still use the bottom side leg for assistance. So go ahead and straighten out your bottom side leg there, Danielle. Very good. Help just a little bit with that bottom side leg. As you have an athlete that starts to progress, we just start to creep out further and further. And then lastly, we can just lift up the bottom side leg and we can add a little bit of movement if an athlete can tolerate at this point. You wanna try a few reps? Good, yep, just like so. One of the things that's really interesting about your adductor longus is it's actually a hip flexor. And it actually contributes more as a hip flexor as the hip gets closer to neutral and then extension, right? So think about a runner who's doing this motion over and over and over again. The adductor longus is actually acting as a hip flexor in this situation. So we can utilize flexion exercises to train the adductor longus. Arms up in the air, legs up in the air. Let's try to straighten this leg out. Good. And then just lower this down towards the table. Yep, and right back again. To make this more challenging, you can add a weight on the ankle right here. 
We can also perform these dead bugs off the edge of the table, so you get an extended range. If we'll make this a little bit easier, we can also shorten the moment arm or lever arm just by bending the knee, all right? Great exercise. If you have an athlete that's tolerating a lot of these adductor exercises, we need to eventually uh, turn this into a more dynamic and functional exercise. And anytime that we're on one leg at a time, the adductor is certainly working. So things like lunges, step ups, lateral lunges are all gonna be fair game at this point. One variation I like a lot that incorporates the rest of the chain, but also is going to be specific to the adductors, is going to be a single legged squat with resisted aid deduction. And essentially what we're doing is we're putting a slider underneath the foot, band or cable is going to be around the lower leg, perform a single legged squat, then we pull leg in so we get a little extra trail leg adduction, strengthen the hip a bit more. One pathology where adductor strength is very important is going to be femoral acetabular impingement syndrome. If you guys want to learn more about how I diagnose and treat femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, click on this link above and keep learning. Thank you for watching.